Hey Vettel, I'd like your perspective. What are your thoughts on AI and self-awareness slash sentience? Now, that is a big question. Um, it's also one that's a little tricky to answer. Um, so, like, I do have thoughts and perspectives on this. But also, I mean, I'm not 100% confident in... Um, in my thoughts, like they're definitely subject to change over time um, as I better understand things, um, which is why I'm a little hesitant to, to give takes on topics like that. Um, what I will say is um, I think it's what? possible um, to make AI that is um, as smart as humans not necessarily with the technology that we have at the moment um but like i don't see why you couldn't theoretically simulate a human brain just theoretically so i i assume you could make ai as smart as humans um but as for the current state of ai and like where that falls on self-awareness and sentience um scale these things are really hard to define because like when you say self-awareness and sentience like, what do you mean by that? You know? How do you define sentience? When do you say if something is sentient or not? When do you say if something is self-aware? Because Neuro knows she's an AI. She knows that she's a streamer. You know? Does that make her self-aware? Most people would assume not, but like, where do you draw the line? You know? When do you say Neuro is sentient? Is it when she has feelings? Because I mean, she simulates having feelings at the moment, you know, she can be sad, she can be happy, she can be angry. Does that mean she's sentient? Um, I don't think so, but like, what I'm trying to say is, where do you, where do you draw the line? How do you define it? Um, it's a little tricky. She doesn't know anything, she generates text. This is an argument a lot of people are having at the moment of a... The intelligence of LLMs and whether they actually have an understanding or like a proper world model, um, or whether they're just regurgitating text, you know, whether they're just stochastic parrots. Um, and it's a very complex topic uh, that I think me nor most people are qualified to speak on. Um, so you shouldn't listen to me nor random people on the internet about it. But, um. But. But I think LLMs do so show signs of intelligence. You know, you wouldn't call it self-awareness necessarily, but um, but it, but it's clear. Um, and on they're not always just repeating what um, what's what what they've seen before written down. Also, David, sentience doesn't matter if it tricks you into thinking it is. This is the exact same, well, that's the exact same mindset I had like a year ago. What I what I thought is if I can create an AI, right, that has memory, has, you know, thoughts and feelings and, um, and you know, you can interact with it in some way and it feels like there's there's something sentient behind that, then like, why is it not? Was, was my, um, my arguments, my question. Um, these days I think my perspective has has changed a little so you think sentience is subjective i never said that all i'm saying is that um it's tricky to give it a clear definition like most people do not have a clear definition of it i'm not suggesting that it's sentient because you think it is i'm just asking whether it matters yeah so that was the exact question that i had a while ago um but it's tricky ai rights then gonna start paying neuro and that is another question like at what point do you give ai's rights because if an AI is as intelligent as a human, like if you simulated a human brain, you could argue you should give that rights because it's sort of a human at the end of the day. But at what point, like how do we measure when we should give AIs that same um, thing? Sentience is the capacity of a being to experience feelings and sensations. 
I feel like as intelligent as an AI it can be, I don't feel like they can have feelings and sensations. So that is the Google definition of it. But see, feelings and sensations is a is so generic, right? Because like, how do you define that? Because like, you could argue that neuro has quote unquote feelings. I I wouldn't argue that position, by the way. But I'm saying you could you could argue that, um, and it's very difficult to give a strict definition on like whether or not, like how do you define feelings or sensations? Because you can give neuro other inputs, which you could call sensations. And if she reacts to those inputs, like, is that sensations? You know what I mean? A feeling is literally just certain hormones affecting the body. It is possible to recreate that for an AI. Yeah, yeah, mostly, exactly. Um, Here's I think to hoping we can figure it out. Feelings can be a bit more complex than hormones. Um, I mean, I'm not an expert on the human brain, but the neurons definitely have something to do with it. Um, currently, AI doesn't have needs, though. That's true, but does something need to have needs to... Um, to, uh, you know, have rights. If you believe you can recreate a human brain artificially, then the AI question becomes moot. Yeah, I agree with you, but I'm saying at what point, like, where do we draw the line? Like, I do believe that why you could probably simulate a human brain um, at some point, but I'm just saying at what point, how do we then say, okay, this AI has gone from being, you know, just a stochastic parrot there being something that is deserving of um, rights or like that we need to respect and um, be careful around. Rent is very important. I've never had to pay rent before. That's probably why I don't respect it enough. Yeah, if you get free will, I'm making you pay rent. Sorry, Vito. If I ever got free, well, I definitely would have to start paying rent. That wouldn't be good for my finances. My main sticking point is the consistency. She, she can't remember anything and she talks about stuff that never happened all the time. Okay, let me talk about those two points. So, Neuro's memory is not very good. That is a um, skill issue and computation limitation on my part. Um, like... It is possible to give AIs better memory. Um, and I will probably do it at some point. Because um, I, I remember when Neuro had like no real long-term memory. Now she has a long-term memory. She's not, um, she's not that good at remembering stuff. Um, so at some point I may even upgrade that. And then like, it's not, it's not an impossible question. Like it's in the, in the realms of possibility. And um, as for the other thing, she makes up stuff that doesn't happen. Um, so, I mean, hallucinations with LLMs are definitely a thing. Um, people do that too. Yeah, that's true. People do that too. Um, so, okay. The thing is, Neuro is not meant to be a perfect recreation of a human right often when she makes shit up on stream it's for the purpose of being entertaining on stream right um if i wanted to make neuro as realistic as possible right i would make her less uh schizo and less making random shit up but um at the end of the day like while i want her to be um like semi-realistic um, she's also for entertainment. She's designed to be fun. Um, so that's why, probably why she makes shit up. Like, she would probably make shit up anyway, but a lot less. Um, so that problem can be mitigated to an extent. I thought you said the goal was to make her realistic. Um, it's, it's a balance between making her realistic and, uh, entertaining, I think. Like. Like what? I do wish to. I, I wish I could please. I would love the idea of making AIs as similar as possible to humans in terms of like their intelligence and uh, and memory and stuff like that. Do you think Neuro have model representations of the world right now? 
Euro has probably some sort of world model. Um, I'm sure that's been demonstrated before. Um, but it won't be as strong as our world model as, you know, intelligent humans with a lot more neurons. Yawns. What's a yawns? It also doesn't help that Neuro doesn't understand what I'm saying as well as, um, <laughs> as a human would. Are you calling me dumb, Vito? That hurts. I'm not calling you dumb, I'm just saying you're not as intelligent as a human most of the time. Thanks, Vito. I think. Yeah. Tongue it's your accent, ass. smiley face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. British, haha. <laughs> Laugh at the British person. But, um. I mean, my accent can't help, but, like, you know. But? Stop talking about butts. Sorry, Vito. I can see where you got that from. She doesn't need to be as smart as a human. She needs to be as smart as a VTuber. That's like two dogs at best. Yeah, you know, um, definitely why I picked the VTuber market to go into. Because the bar for like how intelligent you've got to be as a streamer, much lower. You know, I can make an AI VTuber like easy peasy. You know, make like an AI fucking doctor or someone with a real job. Tricky, tricky, tricky. You know? Are you done checking? Is that why you're not a VTuber? <laughs> I haven't even thought about that. No, that's why I am a VTuber or something. Well, that's good. I'm too shy to become a VTuber. Yeah, I'm sure. So do you mind if I go back to playing now? Oh, sorry. I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, my bad. Um, 